All right, what's up, y'all? Y'all know this is, is Elliot Dunsapo back at it again, looking swole. I gotta get my shape up. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here. I'm not looking like a full million dollars, just 500,000. Once I get my, my, you know, my shape up, be looking like a, a full, like, case million dollars. You feel me? Yeah. Welcome back to my show again. Um, to those who are tuning into my show for the first time, this is the show where I give you the workout life, my food life, inspiration. So I'm giving you the full package, baby. I'm giving you the full package, baby. Wait, moving forward. Today is in um flat. I'm gonna be starting off with, I believe it's 175, and from there I'm gonna be moving up to um 30 pounds, 30 pounds until I get to the point where my body is at the um, RPE or the, you know, RPE is like the assumption of your energy level. So when I get to that area, then I will notice, okay, can I jump another 30 pounds? Can I just jump five pounds? Can I just jump 10 pounds? We're gonna all find it out today. First of all, it's a good afternoon. Well, good morning. How are y'all feeling today? That's all I want to know. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling blessed. Um, God is good. I'm still here. Anyway, let's get to the affirmations. Number one, I am unforgettable. I know there were times in life that you have may you may have been feeling like like those who have left your life or those who have ghosted you or go those who have moved on. You feel like you're un. You, you, you've been forgotten. Let me tell you something. You are not forgotten. You are unforgettable. Number two, perfect health. You know what they always say, health is wealth. What good is having all that money and having all these possessions if you don't have good health? Number three, I am debt free. Um, a lot of times, most of us, including myself, but I am coming now I'm not coming out of it but I have came out of that and now I'm into a zone of debt free um most of us have not been trained with business skills of money and how to operate with money so we think that you know being in debt is a good thing um at certain situations when it comes to like building your credit and all that stuff and getting a house and blah 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 debt can be good but the purpose is to be debt free I'm a rare breed. Notice that through the millions, the billions of people on this planet, you are someone that is unique and different from everybody else. I am mighty. You may feel weak, but know that I am mighty and that you are strong. All right, y'all. This is Elliot Nassau, back at it again, reminding you to ask, believe, and receive. Also reminding if you plan it, then it's yours. If you believe you can then you can do anything. If you don't believe you can do anything, then you, you won't be able to do anything. Simple. All right, y'all, enough talking. What, can, what more can I say? Let's get this work. Yeah. Every morning when your feet hit the floor, tell yourself today could be the day. Today could be the day that I turn my entire world upside down for the better. Today could be the day everything in my life changes. Today is the day. Today is the day. Today is the day. Pretty much on my way to the gym. Uh, let me see. So a challenge has been posted to me by my sister. And one thing I love is I love a challenge. I love challenges, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to go through a 14-day detox, right? So that means I got to stay away from, like, fleshly foods, processed foods. Like, even, like, when I have my cheat days, like my pizza day, must day, no cake. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I got to go through all this. But you know what? I'm ready. You know, I said I was going to do it. I'm ready. And you know, as as the show goes on, well, as the weeks and the well, as the days go on, 
I'm going to give, be giving you results and updates. So far, I feel good. I feel clear-minded. My energy is good. Um, yeah, and I'm ready to go. See, the thing about it is, in order to break the mold or the barrier of the things that we want to do in life, we got to do it by faith. We got to do it by faith. And it's like the story, like I was telling my mother the other day, that it reminds me of the story of um, Peter from the Bible. I don't know if anybody knows about Peter from the Bible. So basically, Peter was a um, was beckoned to walk on the water from Jesus after he to prove himself that this was God. Basically, I'm not being preachy, but I'm just giving you the background story. So Peter said, "Lord, if that's you, beg me to come." So Jesus said, "Come." So Peter started. Peter, um, Peter was on the the boat with the disciples. He got out the boat. He started walking on the water. Now, what makes this story so significant is because that's what the faith walk is about. You don't know if it's going to work. You don't know um, if it's not going to work. But you got to make that step. Man, it's just amazing. But anyway, let's get to this work. I warmed up with 225 on the deadlift. Now I'm about to hit, um, then I did 315 for seven. Now I'm about to hit 405 on the deadlift. See, from here, I'm gonna start going 30 pounds up and see how far I can go. Um, let's say that this is a different experience <laughs> because um, with the simple carbohydrates, what happens is, your body takes them, like, because your body cannot pro process simple car carbohydrate to its maximum full potential. So it will take what it needs and store the rest. Now I'm working off of complex carbs. Now all of my, all of my carbs are being digested. You know what I'm saying? So the body is feeling a little weird. I guess it's purging on all the toxins and the sugar, but got to make it work. All right, y'all, let's get to work. Oh, yeah, before I go. This is, and I gotta be careful with my my new eating regimen because this is the result of what happened in 2020. When I started my raw alkaline food diet, I was disciplined for like two, three months. And I didn't eat nothing processed. I dropped weight so quick, but my strength went down. So now that I'm a little bit more educated, I have like the herbs, I have, I gotta increase my carbohydrates. So if I'm eating wild rice, I gotta probably eat like two cups a day and so on and so forth. So I gotta act accordingly. All right, y'all, let's get this work. say this is a heck of a challenge um you know i was able to do everything successfully no issues no problems it's just that now my body is kind of being confused well no my body is confused now because now i'm throwing at my body a different eating regimen my body's used to the cakes and all this other stuff trust me when i was exercising I was thinking about, man, when, I get, when I'm done, I'm going to get me some cake or get me some donut or whatever. <laughs> but you got to block that out because I am on a specific goal. 
detox it. I got to do this. If it goes well, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll continue on with the regimen. What can I say? All right, y'all. This is Elliot the Unstoppable back at it again, reminding you to act, believe, and receive. Also reminding you, if you plan it, then it's yours. If you believe you can, then you can. If you don't believe you can do anything, you can't do anything. Um, That's about it. Without faith, it's impossible to do anything, to please God, to move forward. All right, y'all. Until tomorrow, let's get this word.